Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a great weekend. And I wanted to talk today about the Phoenix, the Phoenix token launch today. Um, now, as I've been learning more about Phoenix, uh, Phoenix is going to help the the um, the state of the Zen supply by burning Zen cryptocurrencies. Uh, in doing so, when you burn the your your Zen, you're going to be able to uh, gain access to the Phoenix token, um, which uh, you get like one per every ten thousand zen burned right so it's very interesting let me read in their own words exactly what phoenix is as uh for some reason i've been slow to the phoenix project although i've been hearing about it for like over a month now uh um, but today I, I i got a pretty good information about how exactly it works you know what are what is making some people excited about it as opposed to you know many other um burning mechanisms for zen and the countless ones we'll probably end up with. But Phoenix is designed to reward crypto community members who believe in the crypto first principles of self-custody, transparency, trust through consensus, and permissionless value exchange without counterparty risks, right? So this sounds similar to many of the ideas like what we we hear, hear coming out of the, the post community hacks, what we hear coming out of uh, Zen with Jack Levin and, and, and these being the reasons that they created these projects. And so what's so different about Phoenix? What's What sets it apart? Why are people excited about this? And for, I, I was trying to get an understanding of that. And what I was able to discover was that the uh, the creator of the, the Phoenix Protocol who goes by, I believe, the name of, I believe it's Joe Blau. Uh, now, uh, apparently he has some technical uh, background, um, you know, obviously as a developer. Uh, I believe he uh, might have uh, said he had to work with Amazon in, he, in that field. And, and, and so um, it, it seems the community is quite confident in his technical abilities, right? Uh, not sure they've uh, we've had a chance to really look at the contract well, but so far so good, right? It, it seems that uh, people are confident in, in Mr. Blau's abilities. Um, what it seems sets Phoenix apart is that if you look at something like what we got with, uh, you know, Hex, uh, what they were doing was they were putting Ethereum in the contract, right? Now, um, where was the liquidity coming from for the early days of Hex? This is where you get into the controversy. And that's why we're going to talk a little bit about some of the FUD coming out of post. We're going to touch on that a little bit in relation to Zen, what it means for Zen, I think. But going back to that, there had been many accusations, uh, uh, data, I guess you could say, provided that uh, may have suggested that Ethereum was being recycled in the early days of Hex, right? And this made it appear uh, like it was, uh, um, you know, it was performing well. People were investing large sums of money into it, right? And so, um, you know, obviously if that was true, that would be very concerning. Uh, I'm just going to touch on that really quick and just say this. If that was the case, here's what you have to understand about cryptocurrencies. I know people think that when a cryptocurrency project launches that uh, if it seems like everybody's getting in, if money's flowing in, they think that the creators of these projects are geniuses. They think that they've done something correct and so on and so forth. But here's a little kickback to reality. What you have to understand is that many cryptocurrency projects that succeed only succeed because they're generally backed by some venture capitalists, right? Who pour in hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, some people will say, oh, well, if the venture capitalists are putting large sums of money in, it means that it's some type of good technology. The thing is, that still would create a problem for first principle ideas. If you got venture capitalists who put in $150 million, $200 million to start a crypto project, then it generally follows they're going to control a large stake of that blockchain and they're going to 
have access to that control before we get access to it, right? And see, this is this is what where Phoenix shines. This is why people are um, excited about Phoenix and that it doesn't have that. Um, the actual cryptocurrency that you're burning actually is burnt. It goes directly there. It doesn't go to the protocol creator. It doesn't go in some type of uh, wallet or anything like that. It gets burned off and they get reward to Phoenix cryptocurrency. Going back to Hex, which was different, where that Ethereum um, was uh, locked in a wallet and the possession of the Hex was in the origin address wallet, right? And it was getting the Hex sent back to it, right? Um, and so with the Phoenix um, protocol here, from my understanding, what's going to happen is the creator, he's going to be just like the rest of us, starting from a fair launch, a fair situation. Uh, he's not going to have access to that Zen, trying to get rich off of others, as some type of unfair advantage. Uh, and so that's why I think people are excited about this project, because it just seems a, lot, a great deal more fair, right, um, in that situation. Uh, and I like that, too. Uh, I, I think that's a great approach to it. Uh, our project, Bitcoin NYK, that you hear me talk about a lot on the channel, uh, is very similar in idea where, uh, where if people uh, hail a certain amount of Zen or you, you hail Zen, you can either be using a platform, you can actually be paid out in Zen, right? So it's a little bit different. It wasn't putting any Zen in or burning, but it was more so you will earn this protocol and it, your, your, your value could be distributed out in Zen, right? Uh, instead of the native token, which is Bitcoin and YK token. So uh, not the same as burning Zen, but what what it was doing was it was um, allowing users to access the Zen, right? Um, without them sacrificing anything, uh, you know, as far as their cryptocurrencies, as far as, you know, their other major cryptocurrencies, whether it been like Bitcoin or Ethereum. And that's what was happening, you know, with Hex and the post-chain ecosystem, right? So that's been frowned upon. That's not what's happening with Phoenix. Now, um, you're able to stake Phoenix. You'll be able to stake it. Um, trying to get to the area where it shows that, right? There's just some information about some of the principles it has. No sacrifice, no origin address, no backdoors, right? So just... Basically, Mr. Joe Blau is just showing he's a stand-up guy. Um, and the contract is odd and all that good stuff. So these are, you know, it, it seems like the the entire Zen, Zen ecosystem has this, this narrative against the Pulse and Hex community. And that is, we can do this a lot better. And we can present a more decentralized system than you all that probably in the long run is going to be more attractive as investors are going to feel a lot more safe in systems like that as opposed to the Pulse and, and, and Hex community. But since we're touching on Pulse a little bit, let's also just speak to that really quick. Um, the, the latest, uh, there's been latest, some people might call it FUD or, or whatever you want to call it. There's been latest information out there about uh, Pulse, Pulse, uh, the Pulse ecosystem the reason it hasn't launched is because it still might be under some type of uh, 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 direction of the SEC not to do so, right? And, uh, you know, it's very messages come across. Some people were saying in the beginning it was totally false. Uh, we've seen big supporters in the Hex community actually come for people like Hexologists who've even said that the SEC, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, subpoenas is such were real or the proof for information were real so I, I don't think many people are doubting that at this point and if that's the case that's probably not a good thing because uh um, if the sec is looking in for any reason it's because they've already done quite a bit of research to see that there might be some type of problem right uh whether that's the case or not uh again this channel is about keeping all information available so you have the tools you need now all that considered, that sounds great with Phoenix as such. And I'm more than likely, although I haven't got any now, I do like the fact it's on um, Polygon. And more than likely, I'm going to try some out and, and see that. I'm not saying you should because, but I'm, I'm probably going to, I have a certain amount of risk in my portfolio. I'll probably try some out, see how things go uh, by burning some of that Zen, right? 
Uh, and there are a lot of tutorials, videos to show you how to do that. So I'm not going to get into that today. Uh, but the the um, uh, I'm going to try out some of that. But um, I would ask that you do your own research before you do that, because my normal messages have been that when it comes to the staking protocols and such, I've just seen one too many of them. And I'm from that old school that says uh, just staking tokens to no end to me uh, doesn't really do anything for me. Uh, I don't think that that's a long term solution to solving crypto problems. Right. Uh, it's just, you know, this game of stacking and, and, and stacking up uh, crypto, hoping you're going to get rich. And we know that it doesn't work like that. If it did, everybody would be rich. So we know it doesn't work like that. And so I more so look for just good ideas in cryptocurrency projects. Uh, with that said, I also want to just touch on, just get you over to Bitcoin NYK. Bitcoin NYK is up over a thousand percent over the last 30 days. Let's quickly talk about some of the reasons that is. Uh, Bitcoin MYK is the native token of a social network, right? And this token has an intrinsic value where you have to hold the token to be able to post and do promotions on the network. So this is a, a we believe, a useful product, much like many other social media projects with the token integrated into it. Uh, it's only going to be final supply of only about 5 million tokens. And so in that sense, it's going to feel and act more like gold. Now, there's not a big difference between BBD coin and um, and the uh, Bitcoin MYK native token other than the supply itself. You're going to have about four times more, 21 million uh, tokens with BBD coin. In other words, BBD coin is not going to burn at all, right? And the reason that it's going to act a little bit more like cash, right? You're still going to be able to promote with it. You're still going to be able to... Um, uh, um, you know, uh, do pretty much the same things you do a Bitcoin and YK took, but because the supply is going to be a, a lot larger, then it's going to be uh, a lot more, uh, probably more opportunity to hold more value in Bitcoin and YK. You're probably going to move the BBD coin more so for transactions, probably tighter margins that we we're pushing for, and more stability on exchanges. Whereas the BIT token or the, the uh, Bitcoin and YK inflation token has no promotional value. The only thing it does is it pays out a basic income, and we believe that's going to be important going forward, dealing with ideas like chat GPT, automation, um, the robots replacing human labor and workers, uh, promoting participation. So the inflation token is going to be like a giant airdrop that never ends for new people to come in. And what you're going to be able to do with that is as it's going to pretty much be able to, you're pretty much going to be able to... Um, uh, 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 you know, basically uh, use it to uh, uh, be reward this and use it to, you know, buy basic goods with it, right? And, and things like that, right? So it's, it's basic income. That's its purpose, right? And it's just, it's it's the value. It's going to uh, pull and push against the value of the network uh, as it grows, right? Uh, the, uh, the inflation coming out of it is going to be used to support that, right? In other words, think, for instance, if a social network grow to be $40 billion, the uh, you use an infl annual inflation rate, let's say if it's 4 or 5%, uh, you then you then use that those hundreds of millions of dollars to pay for the UBI and in the future we're gonna get more detail and depth about that, but we're very excited about it. Also, that inflation took up because it's going to pull so many people in, it's going to push value back into Bitcoin and YK and the BBD coin as, you know, uh, we'll, you know, get into it in later videos. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. So taking a look at Bitcoin and YK up over a thousand percent over the last 30 days. Uh, you know, again, uh, looking at something like the Phoenix token, I, I, I like how it works with the Zen ecosystem. I don't think it in itself is a bad idea. But I do, I have become uh, uh, a little bit weary of staking protocols, right? Uh, Bitcoin NYK, I just see it as more useful. People actually using it for communication, using it to mint the cryptocurrency through social media uh, activities um, and all these uh, various things that they can do on the site using the token, its intrinsic value to promote on the platform and so on. 
these things to me are something I can see new people using. Uh, the Phoenix token, uh, along with the Zen ecosystem, talks about onboarding 100 million users. Um, is that possible? Maybe. That maybe can happen. But I think it's going to happen easier with something like Bitcoin MYK. And because a new person can use it quite easily, it's uh, identifiable to them user interface wise. I just think it makes more sense. Internal wallets on the platform, multiple chain usage. Um, uh, one issue we get uh, for many of you out there is that uh, we've had some people contact us and say, hey, well, if it's so great, how come nobody's talking about it, right? How come there's not a lot of videos and communities behind it? And uh, we want to give you an update on that. We are now talking with some big content creators who are interested in putting together videos on the platform. And so it's coming. The, the biggest fault to it would be me. I have chosen to move as slow as I've moved because I really wanted to cover all bases. Uh, for uh, As I was saying earlier, over the last 300 years, the greatest minds in history, the greatest figures in history have been trying to create some type of citizen's dividend, starting with Thomas Paine, Dr. Martin Luther King, Nobel Prize winning economist Milton Friedman, and so on. And so... The greatest minds have failed at putting this together because I believe they didn't have the technology. They didn't have blockchain technology. So we have the advantage over them now. But we do have that. And so I have consciously moved slow because I wanted to make everything work right. And so we haven't really made our circuits in the marketing area yet. Everything has been very organic, right? And our channel, channel is a very small channel, only about 2,500 subscribers right now. Uh, but uh, all that is going to change here in the near future. So I don't want you guys to, to miss this because you're um, uninformed. Uh, you will begin to see a lot of YouTubers in the crypto space start to talk about Bitcoin and YK. Very, very soon. We're already speaking with them. They're already getting ready to put together content and videos. So we don't want you all to miss this. Um Again, over the last 30 days, already up over a thousand percent. It's totally free to join, totally free to get an account. Some people said, well, what if I, you know, try to link a wallet or something like that? And uh, it's a scam or whatnot. Um, we have an internal wallet where that you don't need to link any of your MetaMask wallets or anything like that. But if you're overly afraid of something like that, there, there's an easy workaround to that. And that is just getting a dummy wallet, just getting a total separate wallet for your activities with Bitcoin and YK as the wallets are free. But uh, uh, the free cryptocurrencies seem to be killing it. Uh, <laughs> uh, Zen, isn't that odd and weird that, and that deserves a video of its own, but it's so odd and weird that so many naysayers said that free cryptocurrencies, being able to mint coins with bots and so on and so forth, uh, they have said that those it, it, it wouldn't have any value and so on. And so they're missing out on thousand percent gains. I think Bitcoin and YK uh, probably uh, I could see because the sale pressure is so low. I could see it going up 10,000 percent in like the next uh, few months or so. Not financial advice. Uh, I would say first get into Bitcoin and YK. Uh, don't put any money in. Uh, work with it free. Just, you know. Get, obtain the cryptocurrencies free and then if you want to speculate later but initially I would say just try it out see if you like it and so on uh, you have that opportunity with us I think that's going to be quite appealing to new people as well but uh, I wish the Zen uh, uh, the Phoenix token uh, much success um, I, I I like the things I'm hearing about it the only thing I have a problem with is just a it's just a personal thing it's just a personal preference uh, the stake staking is kind of just out the window for me now, right? I like tokens with intrinsic value that I can use every day, whether it be in some type of gamer community uh, or something like a social media, social token, like what we're doing with Bitcoin and YK. I think that's what's going to be more appealing to people, um, you know, new people coming in. That's where we're going to get the 100 million users from. That's where we're going to get the 2.5 billion users from. And uh, uh, I, I do know that the cryptocurrency community is smart enough to understand uh, that's how it works. Our social media is so 
interwoven into cryptocurrency. We can't, we got to get on Twitter and Facebook to even talk about uh, non-crypto social networks. Got to get on them to even bring awareness to cryptocurrency. So, our, um, you know, if we got one more odd minute to it, uh, like Bitcoin and YK, where you earn a cryptocurrency and you, you're doing all these things, uh, the, the way it's done, I think it just makes a great deal more sense. And I, I think it's going to make more sense to many other users as we've done some polls and, and tested people and they pretty much come to uh, the same conclusion. But that's all I want to say in this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, join, uh, hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss some important information where you don't miss a thousand percent gain or something where you can subscribe where it's totally free. You'll be alerted. Hit that bell notification at the top. So make sure you do that. Don't forget to join Bitcoin NYK. It's free. Segregate a wallet for it. That way you're not afraid of any security risk. But that's all I want to say in this video. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.